Well, we're gonna go through short run costs and to produce more output in the short run we gotta employ more labor and this means that our costs also increase. Now using three cost concepts and three cost curves we can explain how a firm's cost changes as total product changes. Now here's the three cost concepts total cost, marginal cost, and average cost. Now total cost is the cost of all resources used and total fixed cost is the cost of the firm's fixed inputs. Now know that fixed costs do not change with output, they stay the same no matter what. Variable cost, total variable cost is the cost of the firm's variable input. Now variable costs do change with output and those are the two differences between variable and fixed. So the equation for total cost equals total fixed cost plus total variable cost like I have here and using these um, these uh, what do you call these letters yeah let's just call them letters I'm just brain dead right now but yeah using these letters we get TC equals TFC plus TVC so those are the factors for our formula here yeah that's what they're called they're called factors so now here we have a graph and it shows a firm's total cost curves. Now you can see that total fixed cost is the same at each output level. We have our output level on the x-axis. So we can see in this green line where I have the total fixed cost curve that it's the same at each output level. Now the total variable cost increases as output increases. You can see this from the uh, this pink or purple curve that I have here uh, that it increases as our output increases so from five from five we intersect or what is what is this this is four let's say four from four we are intersecting with the total co total fixed cost but at 15 let's say at 15 our total variable cost has increased uh, while our total fixed cost has stayed the same so that's the differences between total fixed cost and total variable cost. Variable cost is changes as their output changes. Now, total cost is the sum of TFC and TVC, and it also increases as output increases. So pretty much what we're doing is we're taking this purple curve and we're adding the, the green curve to the purple curve to get the blue curve. So you can see here that this is about, uh, about the cost is about $25 per day. So let's just put a 25 there. So it's about $25 per day. And for this TVC curve here at, at, a, at an output of 15 t-shirts per day, the cost is 75. So the total cost is uh, the total fixed cost, which is 25 plus 75, which gives us $100, $100 cost per day. That's the total cost for that point or at that level of output. Now let's talk a bit more about our total variable cost curve. Now it gets its shape from the total product curve. And let's just go back to our total product curve. So here's our total product curve. Notice that our total product curve becomes steeper at low levels of uh, low output levels and less steep at high output levels. So you can see that uh, at output levels of one, one, two, and three, uh, it gets pretty steep, or it is pretty steep. From zero to one, it's steep. From uh, from one to two, it's also steep, but less steep than zero to one. And as it gets higher and higher, as as our output gets higher and higher, uh, the output, the the curve becomes less and less steep. Now, let's look at our total variable cost curve. <coughs> In contrast, our total variable cost curve uh, becomes less steep at low output levels. So here's our output. Uh, it's, on the, it's on the x axis, while before our total product curve, our total product curve, uh, the output was on the y axis. So that's a difference that we have to note. So for our total variable cost curve, it is less steep at low output levels. So an output of uh, at an output of ten, it is less steep, but it gets steeper at higher output levels. You can see that uh, it kind of gets rounded up to about ten, and then it starts rising 
uh, more quickly and that's the that's the that's where it shows you that it is getting steeper and that's all I want to talk about for that so now I want to talk about the relationship between the total variable cost curve and the total product curves so what we did here is we added a second x-axis to measure the total variable cost and this is the x-axis that we have here. So the first worker is equal to $25. Uh, $25. So here's the current uh, x-axis that we're using, labor workers per day. And at one worker, it will cost us $25. At two workers, it will cost us $50. So the two x-axis uh, line up. And uh, what we can do is we can replace the quantity of labor on the x-axis. So we're totally going to replace this line uh, with on the x-axis with the with this line. So we replace the quantity of labor on the x-axis with total variable costs. And when we do that, we have to change the curve's name to the TVC curve or the total variable cost curve. Now the cost on the cost is on the x-axis and the output is on the y-axis. So pretty much what we did is we took this x-axis and we substituted it in for this current x-axis to give us this graph. And when we do that, when we switch uh, the x-axis from uh, labor to cost, we have to change the name of the curve to total variable cost curve. And uh, that's just how it is. I don't really know the reason why, but uh, that's just how the like, book explained it and I trust it in the book. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we after we drawing the graph with the cost on the x-axis and the output on or or well, what am I saying? After uh, we, we, we draw the graph with the cost, we take this cost and we dump it in the x-axis, we make it the x-axis and we take the output and we put it on the on the on the x-axis well cost on the y-axis and output on the x-axis uh, we get this kind of graph and we've got our TVC curve drawn the usual way so let's take a look at what we did well actually uh, well now we see that uh, we've, using this graph and flipping things around we get this graph and adding in the TFC and uh, and the TC we get the graph that we started out with so I guess I'll just explain it one more time just to make it more clear so what we did is we took our total product curve and we had this extra x-axis that we added. We took this uh, uh, extra x-axis and we replaced uh, the labor, uh, x, labor x-axis with the cost x-axis. And we came up with this total variable cost curve. Now, putting the cost on the y-axis and the output in the, in the x-axis, we come up with this graph. Now, you can see that uh, the TVC curve is exactly the same as this one here. You could, by flipping it, we get this curve. We could just imagine for now that uh, we didn't add in the TV TFC curve and the TC curve, but flipping this, flipping this, these two axes around give us, uh, gives us this curve, and we just have to add the TFC curve and. Uh, add the TFC curve to the T TVC curve to get the TC curve or the total cost curve. Um, I know it's kind of confusing but if you watch uh, the video uh, like two or three times I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, I explained it as simply uh, as simple as I can explain it and that's all there is to it. But other than that in the next video we're just going to talk about more talk about marginal cost and average cost and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and don't don't forget to uh, please rate, comment, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's it. See you guys next time.